Welcome back into Coleman today. Uh, with us this morning, Jason Zinsmeister, and we were talking the first segment about investments and um, sort of how his uh, group, uh, principal financial group, can help you and get you where you want to be and where you need to be. But I've got one more question mm -hmm. before we start about this great book, and that question is, uh, we have always, at my household, we've always felt like real estate is, is a great way right. to invest. Um, that is not necessarily the case. You shared a little um, a tidbit mm -hmm. of information with me about the Kennedys sure. and the Rockefellers. I think that's really interesting. Well, it, there's no doubt that real estate has been a good investment for a long time. And we used to operate under the idea that real estate would never go down in value. It would right. always go up and it would appreciate between 3 and 6% a year every mm -hmm. year. And that held true for a long, long time. Recent history has proven that's not necessarily the case, but I read an interesting study that was called Why the Kennedys Are Not the Rockefellers. So the Kennedys, when Joe Kennedy bought the estate in Florida, that was their biggest investment. Most of their money was there, and through the years it grew at about 6% a year, and for 40, 50 years it was a great investment. It right. did really, really well. Along that same time period, the Rockefellers put their money in Coca-Cola stock. Coca-Cola stock doubled. It doubled again, it doubled again, and then it's grown by about 8% a year until the recent history where we've had some ups and downs. So right. the same amount of money that the Kennedys invested in mm -hmm. their Florida estate, had that been invested in the Coca-Cola stock, it would have doubled and then doubled and then grown at and a good grow. rate. All right. So real estate can be really good, mm -hmm. but a good stock market investment can outpace it over the long run. Now, both can be volatile. Stocks obviously are more volatile. Right. Uh, but they're a little bit more liquid so you can move in and out. So both have their merits okay. and both are good. I think that's such a great uh, way to, to, to term that. And to, right. It's just <clears throat> interesting. We want to talk just a second. I've got to uh, read the back of this for you. Are you struggling to make ends meet? Do most of the fights with your spouse revolve around money? Do you feel that if you, if you just had more money, all your problems would go away? And this is the one that really caught my attention. <laughs> and you've got to clarify this all for right. me. And just who decided you need to give 10% of your money to some church anyway. Right. Now, when I first read that, I was like, now, Jason, <laughs> what in the world? So right. explain to us first, before we get into that, Battle Ready uh, Financing and Basic Training, or right. Battle Ready Finance. Um, how did this idea come about? Sure. Well, I sat down to write just a good personal finance book, mm -hmm. and it was at the urging of Pastor Jerry Lawson of our church. Right. We had had some conversations, you know, as a, as a church, we ask believers to do a lot. We ask them to fund a lot of programs and give to missions and do right. a lot of different things. But sometimes churches don't give their congregants the tools they need to get their finances in order. Right. So that was really the goal. Just put some good information out there to help people move from where they are to where they want to be. Right. And as I sat down to write the book, it was obvious to me that finances are more than just the way we handle their money. They really are a battle for a lot of people right. and a spiritual battle. And so when I came to that verse in 1 Peter 5, 8 that, <clears throat> that says your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour right. and then I read the verses in scripture that talk about putting on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil it was just crystal clear that we're really in a fight and maybe some believers don't realize that there's an enemy out there and if he can get a hold of your finances mm -hmm. and kind of get those messed up then he's got your relationship he's got really all of your life revolves around our money and so if that's messed up everything can go Absolutely. wrong and so when I sat down to say what can I do to help people how can I put information that they can relate to in a way that's interesting to read and it's not mm -hmm. like everything else that's out there this battle ready finance just came to mind because I was a, a officer in the army right. so I had a lot of training that really related to how do we train up for battle how do we get ready for combat how do we what do we need to do to stand when we know we've got a real enemy coming at us? Right. And so that's how we came to this one. And basic training is the first book in that process mm -hmm. to help you kind of get your thinking right about money. And then right. put some basic practical things you can do in place to just get where you need to be so you can start thinking about investing and planning for the future and all those things. So Absolutely. this is the first in a series of three books. Uh, three books. So uh, the next one will be coming out. Um, Hopefully it'll come out in time for the next small group semester at okay. Daystar, which is going to be, I believe, May. All right. So you're already working on it. I am. It. You're about working halfway on it. through. Are you really? Yeah. Now, um, when you started that, I mean, it had to be, were you overwhelmed at any point when you first started writing the book? Well, overwhelmed in the sense that knowing that people are going to take this information and apply it and it better work and it, right? better, it better be right. good and it so be right. so when you go back to so what has worked over the last mm -hmm. 2000 years of human history mm -hmm. biblical principles for handling your handling your money have worked they right. just work and there's mm -hmm. no way to argue against it and so when you look at scriptures they talk about the uh, debtor is slave to the lender and scriptures on tithing and scriptures on storing up wealth for the future all of those things work and they really 
uh, go hand in hand with what we teach today in finance. And so, yeah, it was a little overwhelming, but I knew that I had the truth on my side. I knew that I had experience on my side. I knew that I just had history that this stuff works. Absolutely. Um, you're going to have to pick up one of these. Uh, Jason, tell us where you can buy these. Well, you can get them at Amazon.com. Okay. You can get them uh, on my website at BattleReadyFinance.com. Okay. You, they'll soon be available at Yates Chance and okay. also at the bookstore, Deb's bookstore. Deb's, Almost okay, good. Deb's, right. Soon, so you'll be able to do that. So this is going to be great. Uh, conquer your personal finances in as little as six weeks. Now that really caught my attention too. Right. Do you really, I mean, you really believe that? that we I, can I really do. The first, uh, the first couple of chapters of the book really focus on changing the way that we think about mm -hmm. our money. Right. When I first started, when I made money my focus, mm -hmm. and I, I followed every penny, and I thought about money all the time, and I was really careful about what I did, it really put money in the wrong place for me. Right. So I, was always, I always thought about it. It didn't reduce my stress. It increased my stress. Because before, I just kind of could ignore it, right? But right. now I'm thinking about it. I'm watching it. We're watching every penny, mm -hmm. and my stress level was going up. And so I really tried to develop a way that I could say, how do I manage my money? But I put it over here. Right. Right? So I do things right, and then I set it to the side and just kind of let it take care of itself. And so mm -hmm. the goal of this book is to help you automate your thinking first about your money so that I change my thinking, I start to change my behaviors. And when okay. I can change my behaviors, then I change my habits. When I've developed new habits, then I've really changed everything about my life. And so if we can do that in six weeks in our finances, and I think we can, then you can start to put money in its proper perspective in your life. Absolutely. And then you're really freed up to figure out what you're supposed to be doing, right? Why are you here? Why, exactly. Right, what, what should you be doing? And so that's what this is for. And so okay. the first couple of chapters get your thinking right. Mm -hmm. The last few chapters give you practical application on how you can really do that in real life. Well, I have a good question now for you, okay. and that is, do both spouses, uh, my husband and I both need to read this, or can, he's so smart, he could read <laughs> it and explain it to me. Well, or is you know, it I think you a lot of people it. probably feel that way, but in my experience, when it's just one party handling, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it causes stress to go up, sure. right? So if, if you and I were a couple and you didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on in our finances and you had to come to me and say, Jason, can I buy this or can I spend this? Right. And I constantly have to say no because we don't have enough. That puts me in a tough position mm -hmm. as your spouse to have to tell you no all the time. But if you're on board and you know the vision that we have for our finances mm -hmm. and you know the rules of engagement that we've developed and you right. understand what we're trying to accomplish, then you're not going to come to me and say, hey, can I go buy this extravagant thing? You're going to say, you know what, we really don't need to do that because we're trying to get somewhere you're with our sure finances. On the, you're both on the same That's page. right. So you're like soldiers in a squad. Mm -hmm. You know the mission. You know where you're headed. You know what you're trying to accomplish. Love you know it. what the targets are. You know right. what the enemies are. Mm -hmm. And together you can make it happen. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, um, there again, and I think my husband needs to read this and then explain it to me. But for the last, I would say, um, the last 25 or 30 years, we've been on that same page. But if every young couple mm -hmm. would start out when they first start out, right. if we had started out with this, we would have been so much further sure. along. So do you recommend that to young people? Absolutely. Now? In fact, my story in the book, I started mm -hmm. out young. I didn't know anything about money. Right. I made all the wrong decisions when mm -hmm. I first got married. I put us in a really bad place and we had to work out from that. And right. so it had someone come along and said, hey, Jason, this is the stuff that you need to be doing because this works. And right. if you'll just do these things, you won't wind up in that place that mm -hmm. you're going to get into. It would have been a lifesaver for me. And so that's right. really the book was initially aimed at married couples and men because they're the leader of the household. But as people have read it, they've all said, hey, this is, it's easy to read, it's easy to relate to, and I think anybody could read it. And, and so I'm going to go with their feedback and say, yeah, anybody can anybody read can. it. Anybody can. Right. Okay, great. Well, this is um, a great book. Uh, Jason Zinsmeister with us this morning, Battle Ready Finance Basic Training. There again, you can pick it up um, at several different places, soon at Yates uh, Chance Christian Bookstore, soon, and also Deb's Bookstore, but right. you can also go online and get it. And Jason, it's good to see, go ahead. And I should say there's a Kindle version that oh, you can okay, get great. if you have an, a Kindle reader on your iPad or okay. on your phone, or you just have a Kindle, you can get it, and I think it's $4.99 for the digital download. We want to say uh, thank you so much for tuning in today and also to Jason for joining us this morning and sharing with us. Good to see you. We haven't seen you in, yeah. in over 10 years. Right. I see you in the newspaper and see you out and about, but actually talking with you and thank you for sharing well, with thanks us for this having morning. Me. And of course, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you. Have a great day.